Hello there and welcome to the Golf Club 2019. My name's John and I'm going to try to get you going here, show you how to swing that club like a pro. Let's get into it. To begin your swing, pull back on the right stick. When your golfer reaches the top of their back swing, push the stick forward to swing. Nice work out there. Let's move on. After each shot, you will get feedback as to how accurate your shot was in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a blue swing plane. In order to be accurate with your shot, you're going to have to keep your swing within the lane. Let's give this another go. Have another swing and try to keep that swing within that swing plane. Uh, not quite. Let's try that one again. And let's just go ahead and try that again, okay? Well done. Let's move on. You will also receive feedback on your swing tempo just underneath your swing accuracy indicator. Now, if you are too swift or too sluggish on your backswing or follow through, your shot could lose power, it could get some wonky spin, or it could go further off target. Now let's try swinging with a smooth motion to achieve the perfect tempo. Nicely done. Let's move on. Okay, well, I think that's the minimum uh, amount of stuff you need to get started. If you'd like more challenge or distance from your shots, try changing your clubs in the profile menu. And be sure to test out your equipment. Welcome to the putting lesson. We are going to learn the ins and outs of putting here today so you can gain strokes where it matters most. You know what they say, drive for show, putt for dough, folks. Let's go. Now, to begin your putt, pull back on the right stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be. When you feel you've got the power right, push the stick forward to putt. Now, let's try sinking this 10-footer. Well, that didn't quite pan out. Let's uh, give that another go. Well, you nailed that one. Let's, let's move on. Now, getting your putt strength just right comes down to feel at the end of the day, and each green can feel different. You can keep an eye on your putter's max distance in the top right to get an idea of what the current green speed is. This putt is just a few inches downhill, so use your left stick to move the putting marker just in front of the hole, and then ease up on your putt and let gravity do the work for you. Great work, let's move on. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're gonna have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the left stick to adjust your aim before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. Very well done, let's keep going. All right, and I think now you're ready to tear things up on the green. And by tear things up, I mean be very respectful and do not damage the property. Seriously though, every green can be really different to play on. Be sure you get some putting practice in on any unfamiliar courses, especially before a big event. And if you need a refresher on swing basics or more advanced shot techniques, check the other lessons available in the training menu. That's it for now, folks. See you next time. 
Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Let's go. Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are going to have to club up, or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge, then just pop this shot onto the green. Great stuff out there. Let's let's move on. Now it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. Hmm, not, not quite there, is it? Let's try again. And nailed it. Let's keep moving. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. Now for this particular situation, you're going to want to club up to the sand wedge and switch your shot type to the flop shot. Then stick this one on the green. Nicely done, and we're moving on. Now, with these few tricks under your belt, you can really take your game up a notch out there on the course. If you'd like to experiment with some different kinds of clubs, you can go over and change your equipment in the profile menu. Make sure to take the new clubs out for a rip on the driving range before you hit the course. And if you're looking for a refresher on the basics, some more advanced techniques, or info on putting, check out the other lessons in our training menu. And with that, I bid you farewell. Hello there and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're going to learn about techniques you're going to want to master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. Sometimes you'll need to make a partial swing to dial in your distance just the way you need it. In this case, your chip shot's going to go about twice as far as the cup. Try cutting your power in half by adjusting your backswing height and follow through speed to land this one near the cup. Hmm, that uh, should probably be tried again. Very well done. Let us move on. Manually adjusting the loft of your shots is going to help you get that ball closer to your target. The catch here is that changing your loft also increases the difficulty of your shot. Hold the shot shaper button and press the left stick up to increase your loft. Land this shot near the cup. Your increased loft is going to give that shot a little backspin. It's going to keep that ball from rolling off the green. That didn't quite pan out. I guess uh, we'll try again. Not quite. Uh, let's reset. Try again.
and nailed that one. Let's keep going. Applying a fade or a draw to your shot can really open up some stroke saving shortcuts. And you guessed it, this will also increase the difficulty of your shot. Hold down the shot shaper button and press the left stick to the left, and then land this shot on the left side of the driving range. Great work out there, that was fantastic. Let's keep moving. With lots of practice, these advanced techniques are gonna to prove to be invaluable parts of your game. And if you'd like these newly discovered advanced techniques to give you even more workability, try changing your clubs in the profile menu and then test them back out here on the driving range. And lastly, if you need a refresher on the basics or some more info on stuff like putting, check out the other lessons available in the training menu. And with that, I say goodbye.
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click like. Feel free to leave a message. Why not check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye for now.